going on everyone it's been a while in the garage not in the shop today but and just doing some simple simple maintenance doing some simple maintenance some good we are changing out the battery underneath the seat because it's an t1 04 to 06 Touareg stuff and uh batteries underneath the seat so if you don't have a triple square you are using a 50. Just make sure it's, it's a little loose though. So make sure that you're, if it's really tight taking these bolts off, then don't do it. But yeah, we'll take these off and then it's gonna be a nine mil underneath this little case. And uh, it should be able to get the battery out of it. And then we'll swap it out with the new one. Hopefully that fixes my problem. This, this is the second time I'm doing this though. So I have a parasitic draw somewhere. I think it might be the radio because the radio is constantly on 24 seven, but chances it's a good, it's a good chance that it, that it, that's that. Yeah, I'm good. But yeah. All right, let me finish this up and then I'll show you underneath. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. All right, now I get this one. You take this cover, but it's just, being a, it's not working for me. So I'm gonna leave it on for now. Yeah, that's coming off. There's the plastic piece on the side that come off. And then, yeah, so give me a second. All right, so now that those two bolts are off, take this handle here, and you're going to push the seat out. Anyways, handle, push the seat forward, and then upsy daisies. And we go a little bit more up. The more you push it forward, the more it will go up. And I usually get it stuck underneath the steering wheel and hold it in place, like a so. Like us all. And then this is the battery case. Flippity. Flippity. And then you can take this little rear feet thing. Pops off. Get that out of the way. And there you go. Pop that off. And whoop! There is a the battery. That was the one I put in yesterday. But yeah. 10 mil. 10 mil. Pop it out. Just be careful you don't touch the seat. So sometimes I like to roll it forward if you want to it's just i don't like this because i keep cranking this for the seat to come up so i'll deal with it that way but yeah 10 10 there should be there's usually a bolt down here but i took it off so i'm all right with that but there's there's a little holder down here to hold the battery in place so it doesn't slide around so yeah there's the battery there's a hold down spot if you need it uh i think this one's a little longer but that's all right Get up, oh, get that in there. That's my wiring, my shitty wiring for the uh, for the thing. Oh, it's touching it. Hey. All right, we'll put that on. Put that on. We we'll get to go, and then I gotta replace the headlights because they keep flashing on me. So cool. All right. So when you put it back, don't forget one, two. Then there's two clips back there. Which all you gotta do is pull the seat forward, and then oh, hold on, you can't see it. There you go. Two clips back there. Pull the seat forward, put those clips on, and you are good to go. This all has little spots. And put it on. Of course, this broke for the rear vent. But put that back on, and you are. You have a new battery, even though it's a pain in the ass. But also, before I forget, when you do this, these plastic things, you're just going to have to pull them off. There's just one of those pop out the sides and slide off so that you don't break them but yeah there's that yeah as you can see seats full all the way forward you can get to these guys here put that i still gotta put the uh the leg fan part back in so i would forget it i'll put these on clip these back on that way that's held on in place and stuff i need two hands to hold this down while i do it so there's that step also the things i was talking about if you wanted to i think they're here or this one. Yeah, there's a, just this giant plastic thing that kind of slides on here. You see these two holes that holds it there. So when you pull it back, it'll kind of pop off. It's a piece of plastic. Obviously, mine doesn't have it on the front or the back because whoever had this before me, yeah. This is probably the most destroyed uh, Touareg ever. But I'm fixing it slowly but surely. And uh, yeah. 
you are just coming along for the ride. Unless you tuned out already. But if you're still here, thank you. Let's do this. Let's finish this up and get the headlights in. All right. Now for the part I dread the most. This is the side that goes on and off. It bounces. Oh, sorry. This is the side that goes on and off. It bounces. When I, when, every time I hit a bump, it'll turn on and off. In order to get to that, I need to take off the airbox again. This side, obviously, you can get to. It's easy. It's right. Right. See? You put it all nice and neat. This side, of course, the side that's giving me issues is the side I got to deal with. <sighs> Why me? So... I gotta unplug that right there, which you just pinch the two. Pinch the, this side and this side, you'll feel the other side. Pinch it together and it should just pop off. Just like so. Ha! And then pop this off. Hopefully, I don't need to. It's already off. I don't want to really take the air box off, but if you have to, you gotta clip this up and over, and then she comes out. This, I don't remember what goes to you. This, up, over. And then this guy, I don't remember if I have to unbolt it or what, but let's get all this off so I can change out the headlights. Again, headlights and battery. This car will be the death of me. All right, so, oh, where is it? Okay, here it is. So I pinched this off, took that off. I left that on, just kind of pushed it out of the way. Pull the intake off, I think, with this guy. All we gotta do is pull it off. Oh, nope. I found the bolt. By golly. All right, so we'll move that and we'll hopefully I'll take it off and that'll be good. So now we need to get to my hand a dander tool kit. Can you say tool kit kit? Good job. Don't judge me. Is it? It is not a 12. You are not the chosen one. Oh, wait. No, these are right. I'm losing stuff. Don't mind my messy girl's baby. Uh -uh. Let there be light. It is a 10. The 10 is the power. Oh, I also changed the downpipe. That sucked. That was a nightmare. Yes. All right. So now I should pop off. Off. And there's a headlight. All that for the headlight. Yeah, it just sits on that little thingy. That little, that little rubber. Don't forget to get the rubber. You got the rubber. All right, so I'm gonna change this headlight out again. All right, this is the LED kit I bought. Last time, just I rebought the same ones again because they work well and they're all plug and play. It's got the connector. All that jazz, which plugs into the stock housing and everything. So, hopefully this fixes this issue, and then we'll be good. But, yeah, it's just a cheap $50, $60 one. I should have got the Xenons, the one that I got for, hold on. Alright, so uh, things kind of escalated. I got a, what is this? I don't even know anymore. I think it's a six. I got a six. I put it in the screw and I untightened it. And then the headlight kind of came out. It just slid out. So now, as I examine it, I remember this, but I also forgot this. How, uh, you can see my ghetto tape. But it is much all the way down. So I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to try to put new electrical tape on it. And hopefully that fixes it. And then I have a light. Because if not, I'm going to need a new headlight anyway. But for now, this is what I have now. So let me fix this and uh, be back. All right. I'm going to be 100% transparent with you. 
I would not recommend this, but this whole thing was messed up. That whole thing was exposed, which is probably what caused that. It was constantly grounding out and stuff, so that fixed that issue. So I put electrical tape here. I filled that whole thing with electrical tape. Oh, there it is. Filled that whole thing with electrical tape. So hopefully this works. I wouldn't recommend it, but if it gets me by till I get a new one, I'll be all right. But knowing my dumb ass, I'll probably ride with it till it doesn't work at all ever again. So, but I'll probably start looking for a new headlight regardless because that is all the shirt. Also, all of no, that's this, these wires, these wires, you can also see, I don't have my light, of course I don't have my light, because why would I have my light? Um, does my camera have a light? I don't know how to use this camera, light. but regardless, all of these wires are cracked as well. I'm about to get to the, oh, all of these wires, oh, you're not able to see diddly. So I guess it's only a matter of time for these, all right, fine, I'll go back. It's a matter of time before these start getting condensation and breaking. So I think that might be my next objective to tackle. Uh, and that's all connected to the headlight. So of course that goes into there. So maybe I'll look for a new wiring harness as well. And that headlight will be done. But we'll, we'll put the new one in and we'll be good to go. So now you know how to replace a battery and put in a headlight. And look, it's super cool tires. I don't know why I put those red things on there. Just trying to be cool. Cause I think I'm cool. No, all right, let's finish this. All right, so it is installed. Tucked it away down in there. You can't even tell it's a thing, but I got essentially all the wires from touching anything. Hopefully I covered all of it. And hopefully this is remain safe and everything but now at least now i know for future reference i can just pull this whole thing out and pull the headlight on instead of taking all this stuff apart so now you know as well if you say this all right so i put the backing plate on tighten it up double check make sure it doesn't come flying out on me all right we're good to go all right so yeah just did pops off good to go all right, so now we just gotta put all that back together. Let's check, double check the headlights. Make sure they all work. It doesn't sound like a tank anymore. Oh, I need to. I got a big case. Uh oh. Headlight is not looking like it's working. Now we're completely out. All right. So we'll pop it back out and we'll double check again. Maybe I didn't plug it in right. No, it didn't go into the plug hole. It didn't go into that guy. Let's double check again. Alright, apparently my wires were crossed. But the headlight works. That one's always worked. All right, we got power, we got lights, everything works. Got to pull it back out, put that cap back on. So I've been trying to fuck with it, but there we go. I think the hardest part about getting all this back in is getting that air breather to get back into the air box. Oh, you can't see diddly. Right. That air breather right there, you can see kind of the end of it over there. Yeah, that's got to go back in there. So, but yeah, we'll put, we're getting it back together, and then uh, we're good. All right, so I found the easiest way to get that is to put your hand through here and kind of finagle it. You kind of need two hands. It'll move in and go. Yeah, so we'll get that on. But otherwise, we're good. We're good. We're good. But, but. And there it is. Buttoned up. Good to go. She does need a wash, though. But it's a beater with a heater, essentially, that I fixed the heater on. And not, and the downpipes, and did a tune-up. <sighs> I love this shit box. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you stayed this long, you all are the best. Um, to the five people that actually watch this, send me an address. I'll send you a monster or something. Peace. 
It is way too cold. But the headlights look fantastic. No more hitting bumps and them turning off and on. So worth it. Hey, 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 hey. You know what looks like and stuff? This little light of man, I'm gonna let it shine. Dumb things to do with one hand. Oh, is it? It's not warmed up enough. I was gonna try to just slide it. I'll slide it later. <laughs> so, like, stock halogen lights are garbage. These are actually, you can see stuff. It's nice. Yes, it does. Very nice. I like. Ah. Who says Borat's 